one, this is Motbot, this is a Q&A, and this is how high do slime blocks bounce entities. So I've got a little rig set up over here for testing these different entities along here, and when I click those buttons on the command blocks down there, it'll summon an entity on this uh, glass block here. And then when I come over here, hit this button, it'll power that piston and push it off, and it will also activate this command block to tell more teleport me right about there and then I can see what is going on. The entities that I will be testing are the armor stand, a hostile mob the creeper, a passive mob the pig, a neutral mob the pig zombie, and the tiny or smallest slime and that is because I think there may be a difference between that and the other mobs uh, since it is made of slime which technically could play a role but also because it has that bouncing mechanic uh, which is the way that it moves, which interacts obviously with the slime block because when a player falls on it and holds spacebar, it cancels their jump animation. And finally, I'm going to test the player. So I summarized the data now in a spreadsheet, and this is uh, how it comes out. So I counted the first five bounces for the armor stand, creeper, pig, pig zombies, player, and the slime. And starting with the armor stand, uh, you have 8, 6, 4.5, 4, and 3, which is an average change of 5.1 blocks each bounce. And it would make sense that it says uh, reads as it does, uh, very similar to the player, because the armor stand is built to resemble the player. Moving on to the creeper, almost exactly the same as the armor stand, which again makes sense because it is the same size. And this one little difference right here could simply be due to human error or due to game lag. Then moving on to the pig, it will be 7, 4, 3, 2, which is different than the rest. However, I measured from their heads, which makes these numbers less significant because that's always going to be one block lower than the rest. So you see from the player, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, and from the pig, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2. And again, that's because the head of the player is one block higher than the pig, so they jumped at the same rate. Then going to the pig zombie, it's exactly the same as the player, which makes sense because they are the exact same model, and which would then make them the same weight. And finally, with the slime, absolutely nothing, because no matter how many times I tried to get the slime to jump down there, uh, the several times that it worked off camera, it fell, it landed on the slime block, and nothing else happened, it just kind of walked off to the side. So, that could be because when it is in the air, it wants to jump, which cancels the jump animation, uh, same as the player holding uh, down spacebar. And so if you scroll down here, and I hope this is all on the screen, um, I took apart, uh, or I decompiled rather, the Minecraft source code for 1.8 because the slime mechanic has changed. Uh, since then, and found this section called the jump sequence, and in it, the first couple lines, uh, obviously this is just pseudocode, so this is not nothing like directly that you would see if you opened it up in a Java program, but it was a wide change of half a block, and then uh, when in air true, and that means that when it is in the air, it will try to jump, which is exactly what I thought of when I saw that that was happening, and so, yeah, it just didn't go anywhere. So this was the first Q&A that I've done. Please let me know 
how it went, what you think of it. And if you have any more questions that you would like answered, please do let me know. And until then, this has been MopBot, and I'm out.